Hello there. In this video, we are going to make some text that is morphed into a shape. In, in brilliance terms, this is called enveloping. And it's really not talked about in the manual, um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you need to head over to the Embrilliant site, and I'll put this link below. Um, on the Embrilliant site, and I'll show you in the screen here what I'm talking about, they have a page that talks all about enveloping. But in order to do this, you first need to install this free envelopes library. I haven't done this yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to download the library file. It's a zip file, so I'm going to need to uncompress that. And then once I do, I believe I will get a BX file that I just need to drag and drop over to my Embrilliance interface. So let's move this page out of the way. If I go into my downloads, so I'll show you that. I'm going into my downloads and I'm going to double click on the zip file, which will create a folder full of content. I'll double click on that folder and there's my BX file. So I can either double click on it or I could just drag and drop it over to Embrilliance. And what I should see is that it installed properly, which it did. Yay. So I'll say OK. And once it's installed, then I can go get those envelopes. I get them by clicking on this little gear here. And then underneath this drop down menu, I should find Embrilliance envelopes. All right, I'm going to pick the heart because it's cute and I'll say OK. And I'm going to get this unique looking object that kind of has two different, like a satin stitch and then the envelope um, guide right there. In order to take advantage of this, I need to create some text. So I'll use my text tool and my initials are not ABC, they are JGV. That would be my monogram. And in order for it to envelope into this shape, I need to do something kind of weird. And I'm going to go over here to my object panel, and this is just called le letters. But if I call it envelope 5, which is the name of my envelope, it links it to that shape. And it enveloped in that space, which is really cool. I don't really love how my letters look. <laughs> Maybe a different typeface will look better. So I'll select that object there and it kind of like the enveloping effect disappears for a second. That's okay. Let's try something really plain. Um, maybe the curious kid font. And then if I click away, it'll envelope it again, which is kind of a cool look. I kind of like that. So that is how we envelope a font. If we don't want the satin border and we just want the letters in that kind of interesting shape. I can easily just click and delete the satin borders. Now nothing will be stitched here. If I go to my stitch preview, you can see that the only color I have is red. The enveloping shape is just a guide. So that is how you make enveloped letters. Pretty cool. And all you need is in Brilliance Essentials and you just have to get that library for free. So check below for the link to that site. And if you like my font here, that's one of my fonts. I'll link that up. It's called Curious Kid. It's in the description below.